<laughs> First of all, to all you niggas in the comments trying to play frag con, um, it's kind of like a nigga going over there and telling Kendrick to steal after Drake said what he said. Hmm. Hmm. From both, see, see, I have the distinct privilege of of, of looking at the game from both sides of the fence. And a lot of you niggas that are mainstream fans, yes, we understand that you're carryover 5150 fans, and nobody is saying that uh, Marcus' uh, mainstream fan base and stuff didn't spurn from the notoriety that he got off 5150. But all of this, that nigga made you shit, get the, get it the fuck out your mind. Because my little brother was already moving and shaking in L.A. when he came across the person that runs the show that y'all know him from. If he wasn't the nigga who he is, he would have never been in position to get on that show. A lot of you, see, the reason why a lot of you niggas get so upset when you find out that a celebrity has done some nefarious shit is because you put these niggas in a pedestal like they somehow God made because they do some shit they famous for. You niggas really need to get more in touch with your real fucking father. And maybe you wouldn't dick ride so goddamn hard. All right, now. This whole goddamn time I've been watching these niggas all in the comments. Oh, bro, chill. Oh, Marcus, come on, man. Oh, man, y'all boys don't need to be. Oh, man, y'all need to let. Hey, man. If y'all ain't saying that same shit on the other side, don't be coming a little bro with that shit. Because at the end of the day, a man going to be a man. And you can't play with a nigga manhood, but so many times, so many ways before he gonna let you know he's not about to play shit. Yes, sir. Now, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna be through with it. Corey talk about everybody else when it suit him. And it's funny then. When he was talking about Christina Payne, and he was calling her a dope fiend that he had fucked one time at a motel, and, and talking about her dog, and how she all in front of the improv selling drugs in front of folks, he probably didn't find that shit favorable. Mm. When he was talking about Ryan, and the fact that Ryan and Austin were roommates, and insinuating that to mean that Ryan was some sort of homosexual, Ryan didn't find that favorable. When he got all on 5150 laughing and shit about Ryan and Reggie getting into it, like, oh, come on the show and tell us how you bullied a nigga out of L.A. Did nobody say Corey was wrong from that. When he got on the motherfucking show and brought Scruncho on there to talk about how he put hands on TK, nobody said Corey was out of line for that shit then. So if you can't take it, quit dishing it. And a motherfucker get on here and make a lighthearted roast video about you hurting your 58-year-old ass self, and you decide to take that as a proxy, man, I learned a long time ago to quit slap boxing with niggas. Because that's when a nigga will take the prime opportunity to let one go. Because he been wanting to let one go. And he ain't got the nuts to just haul off and swing on you. So he'll wait till it's supposed to be a friendly fucking competition, and he'll let go. It's the reason why I don't do roast shows no more. Mm. I did one roast show for my birthday and motherfuckers got up there and took turns letting me know how they really felt about me mm. in front of my family and the girl I was going with at the time. Mm. See, motherfuckers take this friendly competition shit to really get their swings out. Man, you will come on now. To a roast video by wanting to bring up my household situation like you somehow better than me, but if you was truly better than me, then you would never have to say it. Hmm. People who are truly better than the most, I don't never have to tell Chad that I'm taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> and every time that I point out how much taller than I am than Chad, it only makes me look shorter to the bitches that's looking at both of us. Yeah. Anytime, it's like anytime a nigga got to throw salt on another nigga, it only makes you look worse in front of the bitch you're trying to get. Yeah. So to everybody that's telling you to take the pragmatic approach, yeah, and I'm glad that you don't really have no malice in your heart about the situation and shit. 
and that and that's 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 all well and cool. That just goes to speak toward your motherfucking character. But for everybody that's assuming that he's supposed to take some sort of background seat or he's supposed to let some shit go because that's his quote unquote OG. Hey man, OGs die every day. Mm. Old lines get killed by young lines every day. Mm-hmm. And since the nigga want to use lions and hyenas as your fucking analogy, they let me know that motherfuckers don't watch enough nature documentaries. Because any lion that get caught out by itself around some hyenas know that that's his last day on the savannah. Type shit. Hmm. Hmm. All right, now. Niggas don't know that hyenas have the strongest bite pressure out of any other animal in the animal kingdom. Okay, now. Hyena bite down on your ass. Your ass is bit. Yes, sir. And people think hyenas laugh when they scared. No, a hyena's laugh is a signal that he's about to kill you. Hmm. So you might want to brush up on your on your nature and on your knowledge. Yeah. Because another thing that, that happens in nature, when an old lion gets injured, they go ahead and leave the savannah because they know they finna get tried mm. before the next spring. Mm. You can put yourself in front of no young lion. Old lion. Mm. You're a little too long in the tooth to be mm. going at it with no young hyena. All right, Don't now. make them clamp down on your ass. Because the thing about a hyena, they ain't never by themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Find out how many niggas really don't play about it. Yes, Keep sir. Keep playing with it. Yeah, Black Ron doubled down. That shit did sound good, but nah. My thing is, as a man, you don't speak on nobody else's beefs that you ain't directly involved in. So if a nigga got issues with 10 niggas and it ain't got shit to do with you, you don't speak up on it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Everybody's entitled to, to, to their opinion. You know what I'm saying? But if you got a problem with a motherfucker, you don't be calling other niggas and trying to get them to uh, double down on your point. You a man, you stand on your own too. You don't like the way, uh, you know, a motherfucker say something about you. I'm just tired of niggas not standing on their own too, dog. You can talk about me, but not to me. And I got love for Black Ron, but I'm if he watching this, I love you, nigga, but I'm not in agreement with what you said, nigga. You talking about Marcus ain't standing by himself. Yeah, he's standing by himself. He's his own motherfucking man. He the one with the issue. He need to, he need to handle his business. He, if that's how you feel what's appropriate to handle his business, that, but it is. But Black Ron ain't no authority on... on and that whole lying talk, nigga, no, no, nigga. We ain't doing that, man. I mean, that that just no man that ain't all that ego talk old lions ain't none of you niggas finna do nothing to the big homie so stop it <laughs> that shit crazy to me man anyway uh yeah we working on this film and this shit go this shit cool it's coming out cool man top nostril. Much respect. Yeah, King Tom, we'll meet. I mean, don't get me wrong, Black Ron is a gifted speaker. But all that talking about, uh, you know, uh, Marcus ain't by himself. I mean, nigga, Marcus is by himself on this. He's the one saying, feeling a slighted, like he's slighted and want to stand up for himself. If he want to be respected in the industry, he got to stand on his own in this situation. You can't come to nobody for help and you know and 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 guidance and 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 mentorship, all the good stuff. And then when something don't go your way, you want to call people for help to help to help you fight against the motherfucker that's been helping you. You know, if you and that nigga don't see eye to eye, that's between y'all. Now, you know, I can see both sides of the spectrum, but you got to realize something, man. That that accident that. Corey got it too. That was a serious accident, dog. 
that was that was a serious accident. So if he feels some type of way because of what happened to him, you know, that was a near-death experience, my nigga. That wasn't no play around shit for him. Now, you know, so if he responded that way, you're supposed to give that nigga grace, dog. You don't know what he's going through. You know, so I felt him on that. But as far as y'all thinking I'm supposed to take up some take sides and all that, I don't think Marcus, what Marcus did was wrong, but I don't think that he could just do things and 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 try to control the consequences of what happens. Sometimes friends have disagreements. You do things your friends don't like. You understand what I'm saying? And that just is what it is. That's what I'm saying. It was a serious accident. You know what I mean? So, you know, you know, I, you know, I'm trying to stay out the middle. I'm gonna stay out the middle, but I just don't like that. That that's the only part I don't like what Mark about what Marcus has done. Man, he being sloppy with the bringing other people in, like bringing up Ryan Davis and all these other niggas as if. All these other niggas are uh, uh, righteous niggas. All these other niggas that Black Ron has named, he, they fell out with other people too, bro. You acting like these are squeaky clean niggas. Ryan Davidson fell out with niggas. Uh, every nigga he named and fell out with niggas. Even Black Ron didn't fell out with niggas. So you can't bring another man's dirt uh, or another man's past into play without bringing your past into play, nigga. Why talk about the... The, the the dust in another man's eyes, but ignore the plank in your own eyes. The Bible say that. But this is all small time shit, though. You know, it's like, I just think for the homie Marcus, I think he looking at this wrong. He not gaining no points. But that does show something. That does show that, you know, you know that, that he's been a, in alignment with a whole another agenda the whole time, and that's what I'm not feeling about it. But it don't prove no point. And, and uh, uh, people attacking me, saying shit about me, I'm not speaking up for that whole, I'm not speaking up for this feminine behavior. Marcus is wrong, and, you know, period, point blank. You should have hollered at your OG about the accident and seeing if he was okay, seeing how serious it is. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. The jokes and all that, we all crack jokes and shit, man. You know, but this uh this theory that you know, this this theory that's circulating and this false narrative that's circulating around this is crazy. Marcus and Corey should talk to each other. But now the cat's out the bag. And now we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Now we're gonna see how it's gonna happen. But you motherfuckers coming on here trying to get me to take a side, nigga. I'm not taking no side. That's their business. Them is two men that became friends on their own. I didn't, I didn't put their friendship together. They didn't start hanging out because of me. They became friends on their own. Now, I am willing to try to help mend it just like I did back in the day. I do that shit all the time with people I know, but I'm not stepping into this choosing no sides, my nigga. At the end of the day, there is a pecking order to how this comedy shit works. And no matter how great your ego tells you you are, if the streets don't say that about you, you're not what you think you are. So this comparative nature of, of you know, a motherfucker trying to, uh, how can I put this? Marcus is a good comedian. I'm a fan of that nigga. I love him. But I just think it's an error of perception for him to try to compare what he's done in comparison with Corey to justify the roast video. I don't see nothing wrong with the roast video, but I'm not Corey. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not going to speak for Corey. I'm not going to speak for Marcus. But don't be pressing my line because you niggas got issues with Corey. I know Corey differently than y'all. Corey's a good person, man. And he take care of those that are around him. And he shows a lot of love. And he showed a lot of love to Marcus. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes friends fall out and they go their separate ways or they don't hang out. I don't, I don't know the intricacies of that. Only him and Marcus knows that. You feel what I'm saying? But the game is a motherfucker and karma is a motherfucker. 